Okay, YouTube, we're about to perform the waterproof test. So what you want to do is do this test and make sure that your device is really waterproof. Now, I really advise you to do this without your device in the case. Because if you do put your device in the case and try this, Autobox, neither am I are responsible for anything that happens to your device. Let me say that again. I am not, neither is Autobox, responsible for anything that happens to your device if you try this without doing it properly and without putting it through the waterproof test without your device in it. Now, Autobox states that you submer completely submerge the case in water for at least 30 minutes and then check and see if any water has penetrated the case and make sure all the latches are closed make sure all the ports are fully closed and then you just put it in now the case will float so you put some on top of it and we will be back in 30 minutes okay YouTube it's been 30 minutes so let's see what's going on All right, let's get this all wiped down and see okay, if it works. Okay, YouTube, I uh, dried the outside of the case. Um, from the outside looking in, doesn't look like there's any water in it. So let's open it and see. Now, Autobox does say that there will be water. anywhere before the o-ring now you see the o-ring is this black thing right here now they say it is normal for the water to be outside of the o-ring now if it's if it's inside the o-ring at all that means there's a problem and you should probably send it back it's outside. So, I don't see any wetness. Like I said, there is some on the outer edges, but that's before the O-ring. So, I mean, I'm pretty confident in it. So, let's put this back together and uh, do the real test right, with the phone. I do have my phone in the case. You can see that it is a working phone. And we're gonna put this in and see if this works. So now we're gonna record it at the same time. And let's go. Can't use none of the buttons.
still working now let's see how it sounds underwater So there you have it, still works and it is waterproof. As you can see, the notification light um, shows up pretty good. Wow, I mean, these, these cutouts are basically pretty much on target as far as, um, and it, it shows up really, really, really good. And, and it's a big, you know what I'm saying? It's very noticeable. It's not like a little light. Um, let's see how the front facing camera looks and see if, um, does it have any distortions? Looks good. This is on video. So I mean it doesn't um doesn't distort the quality of the picture or scene or whatever you're looking at at all, even though there's uh the screen protector, glass, plastic, whatever you want to call it, in front of it. It looks like it's just the regular lens of the camera. So, there you have it. This has been a review, unboxing, and waterproof test of the Otterbox Armor Series. I also put my lanyard on. It's very easy. Just stick it through the hole and, you know. So, I mean, I really think the outer box, you know what I'm saying, they did a really good job. And this phone case, I mean, is it perfect? No, but do I think it would do the job on protecting your phone yes I really really do I really do think that this will um, definitely protect your phone the only concern I might have if it drops this side will be perfectly you know I know this side is latched down it's this side that I'm afraid it might just pop open that's why I said I would rather them have two latches on this side too. But um we'll see, you know. Just is a great case, you know what I'm saying?